and welcome to the Audiophile Barista's weekly vlog number 57. Another beautiful day in Rotterdam, cloudy, blue skies, a little bit of everything, nice temperature. So that's what's going on in Rotterdam. In this weekly vlogs I talk about coffee, audio and other things that keeps me busy. And one of the things that keeps me busy is if you look right over there you see the flat some of you who've been watching my channel for a longer time know that my friend Andrew lives there. He has an, a YouTube channel himself, Vintage Stereo, and he has not been up uploading videos for the last few months. And people started to ask me on my channel, because they know we are friends, started to ask me on my channel how he is doing. And I must say it was even difficult for me to get a hold of him. But he is doing all right and tonight he is coming to visit me and well let's listen maybe listen to some music and chat. I leave it up to him to explain or to start making videos or to explain why he didn't upload. I don't think that's my place to tell you about it. But the main thing I want to say is Andrew is doing just perfectly fine. So that's one thing that was keeping me busy. Today I have a few things for you. One of the things is I would like to give you a tip in improving your filtered coffee, your machine coffee setup. So I did place everything right over here. So what I did is I have my coffee right over here. I measured it 20 to 23 grams. Then on the scale, I measured the perfect amount of water to go with that. I'll be putting a link uh, up here somewhere to guide you to the video where I explain how you can calculate if you have an amount of coffee, how much water do you need? Because that is the amount of water that you want to put in there. So the right amount of water and the right amount of coffee. That's tip one if you have a filter machine. Now these machines, the Mocha Master from Techniform, they have this and I don't know how many other um, coffee equipment has this, but if you look over here there is this little knob that goes up and down and if you put in this thing you will see it raises this little knob and what it does let's have a look over here this knob over here can get pushed up so this basket will open and let the water through this means that if you just put it in like this without the carafe under it the water will not go through. And that's the whole point of the tip that I'm going to give you. Now over here, this is the older version, what they did is they have this slider and you can open it halfway or completely. And I prefer this system, it's much easier because you have to keep this one um, not under it and this is not completely drip proof so if something drips through right over there it just will fall into the carafe but over here it will fall on the hot plate anyways what we're going to do is put in some water and really i can't tell you how important it is to match the amount of coffee with the amount of water it's just one of those steps that you need to do if you want a good cup of coffee but also if you want consistency so if you want to change something you know exactly what to change so let me put in the coffee right over there put it in and all we need is a little teaspoon. So let's turn it on. It is on. 
we're not putting the carafe under it that will come later because of what I'm going to do now let's see if this will start up you can see the water go up in right in the middle over there there we go and there we go the water is on the coffee grounds but not going through yet and the reason now let me see if I can get a good picture and do some hand-eye coordination so on the side here you see these grounds they are pushed up and they are not there's some more right over there but they are not really soaked in water yet so if so what I'm doing now is to get those soaked, make sure that they release their nice coffee taste and caffeine. And if I wouldn't do that, a lot of the first water that would drip through will not have any coffee extraction in it. So once you've done that, you just place this under here and you see there it goes. Oh wow, it even goes. Because I was talking, there was much more water in the basket than I would like to. So that's why the power behind it was a little bit big and it almost went over the lid there. So the last bit of water going up, as you can see. Yes, so I can turn this off and let this just sit and run through and I'll drink it later. So the tip is to match the water and the amount of coffee and the tip is to make sure that all the grounds are wet before you let the water through to the carafe beneath it in order to get a better extraction. Um, okay so that is the coffee tip for today. Tell me if you have a machine that you can use in this way and if you tried it let me know in the comments what the result was so that is one thing that i wanted to show you another thing last week i told you about the cd that i got for my girlfriend and this was the cd box this is the natalie merchant collection and uh, yesterday i made a 3 CD Friday video that's why it's still right over here this is where I did my video and probably in two weeks it will be going online so if you want to know more about this wonderful box stay tuned okay another thing um, a little bit of a story oh over here you can see I'm also filming for the cassette recording the uh, um, high resolution from the blue sound streamer so that's for another video but here's the thing over here you see my wonderful auxilia loudspeaker of course this is a stereo setup so there's the other loudspeaker and a few weeks ago you have seen that i was made, turning this room into a surround sound setup. I had the whole Lin surround sound setup. Everything is back downstairs again. I replaced everything. So I put the Ocilias uh, back. I connected everything uh, to the Ocilias. And the strange thing was that after returning everything, it did not sound like I was used to having it sound. Now, sometimes this happens. You know, these uh, power amplifiers are some 35 years old. Same goes for the preamp. And every now and then this, this old stuff has a, a day off, I call it, and it just changes the sound. But it's 
stayed longer the bad sound stayed long well it was not bad but there was something different and of course after so many years i know exactly how my system sounds something was off and i couldn't know i didn't know why because i did not make any changes at least that is what i thought but just before i dismantled the the, the stereo setup to install the surround sound setup i had started experimenting with these little dampers from SSC. These are the SSC 100s. I had those put under the loudspeakers. And when I returned everything, I did replace those three under the, that loudspeaker and three under that loudspeaker. And suddenly I thought, well, I did make a change. And the only change was to have these dampers under the loudspeakers. So what I did, I took them away and then the sound got back to its original form. Now these normally in the description say these, you use these under equipment, not under loudspeakers, but under equipment. But what I wanted to try is because I have a very bouncy floor and I wanted to see if decoupling the oscillas from this bouncy floor, if that would improve the low frequency sound. But instead, it hardened up the sound from the oscillas a little bit. And as soon as I took those things away, um, it returned to its old glory. Now, I'm not saying that this is what was the cause of that. It is strange that when I took them away, it changed back to uh, how it was. It could be something else, but I know that putting things under your equipment or your loudspeakers can make a difference. And in this case, it made not an improvement, but a down improvement. I don't know how you call that, but anyways, this was interesting. I thought I'd share it with you. One of those things that you try out. I forgot that I tried it out and I couldn't find why is my sound not the way that I'm used to it. Hi there, the audiophile barista here. What I forgot to say in the video is that the Ocilias are not built like most loudspeakers. Most loudspeakers boxes are heavy, sturdy and rigid in order to minimize and remove vibrations coming from the loudspeaker drivers. And that is not the design philosophy behind the Ocilias. This loudspeaker box is almost lightweight and some of the sides are actually really thin. In this design, the resonance from the loudspeakers is part of the sound design. That is why I can imagine that the way you couple or decouple these loudspeakers to the floor can have a bigger impact on the sound than some other heavy box designs. I thought it was important to add this bit of information here. Now let's get back to the vlog. Um, okay, one more thing. A few weeks ago I told you for my um, quad setup downstairs um, I wanted even shorter cables than I already had. And I told you that uh, Ronald, which is the guy from whom we did the first room tour, um, he is making cables now and uh, I got into contact with him. And in a few days he will send them to me. He is doing the last bit of testing. But over here you can see this is the result. So I have one, two very short cables, one going from the preamp to the tuner, one going from the preamp to the power amp, and the third one right over there. Well, he had to buy a minimum length of cable anyways. And because these two were so short, he had some left. He asked me, shall I make a third one? And I said, yeah, sure. I'm always interested in having more uh, cables. I think he did a very nice job and I can't wait to install them behind the quad and see what they sound like. Anyways, if you are interested in some very nice cables and you are looking for somebody to make those for you, um, put a comment down below and I'll 
make sure you get into contact with uh, Ronald. Um, okay, so hopefully in a few days these will be delivered here and I can start playing with them. Okay, so that is the last thing for today. Um, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful day that we have here in Rotterdam. I want to thank you for uh, watching. Coming Friday is another release of a room tour video and this is going to be a nice one also. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you somewhere next week, whatever it fits into my program. Because as I tell you every time, I do not have a regular week that I'm making these videos just when I feel like it or if it fits in my agenda. So thank you for once, watching once again and I'll see you next time.